we're going to the vegan camp out. We certainly are. But first, washing up. You must do the washing up. Oh, sorry, Miguel, you can't come. <laughs> Although I'm sure they'd love to see you. I don't think you'd enjoy it that much. He's a good boy. We made it. We got our tent ready to put up and our vegan camp out 2022 bands. I've never had a festival. Well, I've never been to a festival. That's why I've never had a festival band. But yes, we're two beers in and about to put up a tent. <laughs> Now, if this isn't glamping, I don't know what is. <laughs> I have my own butler to put up my tent. I'll be sleeping in here by myself. My butler has uh, separate quarters, so. Nice. So, as you can see, our tent is all pitched up now. Alex has gone to the car to fill up the mattress, air mattress. I'm gonna give you a sneaky peek of our weekend plans just in case there's anything that you want to come back for so although the festival starts on a friday there's no actual events on on the friday there's no music or anything um just the food vendors and the stores like the little shops you can buy things from but this is our saturday plan we're going to try and get up at half past five for the meditation at mind and body and then there's a few talks we're going to go and see some music then sunday there's a little bit less things going on on sunday but it's still going to be an amazing day and then on Monday we have to leave early because Alex has an injection there. But that's fine because we're not missing anything and we're still going to have an amazing weekend. In the distance. In the, the blur. <laughs> it's my butler. <laughs> Ciao Bella. So in the email they were like, there's definitely not an after party. Why would you want to go in the woods? I feel like we should go in the woods. That There, there is music coming from there. Aliandro. Mm. Let's go. Oh my god, is this gonna be a rave? I knew it would be. What is that? What are they? Cool. But does it come with alcohol? Alex 
has a beer and I have alcoholic oat milk. They said it tastes like Bailey's, but it kind of tastes like sour milk with sugar in. It's not bad, but it's not, it's not that good. <laughs> I even look drunk. What's going on? It's a little chilly right now, so we've come back for our jumpers. The annoying thing is we're both full because we both had like starters, main and dessert, but we want more food. So that's probably what we're going to do because we're on holiday. So um, no one can tell us no. I'm right. At any given point, I might be filming a dog. What is it? It's a wacky wave inflatable I'm floating tube man. And you know what? It's a vegan wacky wave inflatable I'm floating tube man. For my second dinner, I have got a Moroccan pie. The guys who run the pie stand think that they are too good looking to be not dickheads. But they're not. They're just not. They're arrogant. Anyway, the pie is really nice, so we can't knock the food. Alex is looking for his second supper. You're gonna get back to the Indian. I'm trying you? not to. <laughs> He didn't go for Indian, he's gone for some Chinese, he's got some spring rolls, and is that chilli sauce or yes, sweet sauce? Yes, it is, yeah. Sweet chilli? Yep. Lovely. What's the verdict? All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> is this pap dogs, fat dogs, or top dogs? Let me know. Made of cement. That's like being in cubes but outside. I like it more. The walls don't sweat because there aren't any walls. Anyway, we're going over to the music tent because it it does sound like there's something going on, doesn't yeah, it? it does, yeah. So we're gonna see what's occurring. You can't see me at all. Hello! I'm not sure if you can see that, but that does say VIP. We're gonna try and get in anyway. Oh we did not get in, lol. Gone for white chocolate and raspberry? Yep. We are back in the tent. I cannot see. I can you see. Um, they're playing Evanescence on the main stage, and that will rock me to sleep quite happily. Thank you. Um, <laughs> where is Alex gone? I'm here. Okay. It's not, it's not that late, what time is it? Okay, it's quarter past 11, so it's late for us because we're old, but we are doing sunrise meditation tomorrow morning, so we do have to be at a, up, I'm a little drunk. We have to be up at half past five. <laughs> See you then. Good morning, campsite. It's 10 to six, and we're gonna go and salute the sun. Sunrise meditation, oh, we, we definitely miss the sunrise. <laughs> oh, we can see the moon. <laughs> for coming so early you can give some gratitude to yourself for showing up i am trying lilk it is a partner of the vegan camp out it's really nice to be fair it's thicker than oat milk it's rice milk with oat milk it got so cold last night but the meditation was good this morning the sun came over just as i started shivering and i like that My dog, aren't you? Yeah. So happy. Got some green juice. Mm. It's very green. I would usually go for a fruit smoothie in the morning, but I just fancy a green one today. Watch, watch, Andrew. She won't see you. Let us see you. Oh, you want? Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, Thank you. You never saw me. 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 You never saw me.
Bro, you're on camera. Oh, wow. <laughs> Thank you. Got myself a fresh coconut. <laughs> good? Mm. So good. Five pounds, but I think it's worth it. You know, I think more people are killed by coconuts every year than sharks. Oh, are they going to get told to stop sexy dancing? Are they making a baby? Go on a Tory skeezer. Any more longer than that, you're not going to During COVID, it kind of went down too much a little bit. I've ever seen it in my I'm very excited. Sushi is one of my favorite things in life. In here I have got avocado, cucumber, peppers, vegan chicken, and sweet potato. It's very delicious. My sushi roll also came with a green juice. I think it's celery, apple, and ginger. Habitat fragmentation. I don't know how many of you have heard of habitat fragmentation, but even doing a simple thing as putting a fence up in your garden can drastically alter the lives of just creatures like hedgehogs who roam up to a mile every night looking for food and looking for mates. So that could mean they don't find a mate and they don't find food. She would love like chicken nuggets and like hot dogs and things like that. And when you tell her, she would be like, whoa, okay, yeah, I don't want to harm animals. And like, obviously you do what's best. Everyone does that. And so she just went vegan with us. She's been like so happy uh, being vegan. So kind of have slowly spread through in our family. Like my husband's sister also is a big animal lover. So my husband didn't force it really on her, but she just questioned and asked her like, if you love animals, why do you eat them? Pizza with pepperoni <laughs> and vegan right. cheese. Where looks amazing. Looks better than the other pizza we had yesterday. I don't think I filmed it though. We're gonna go and watch Hunch Herbivore while we eat junk food. The whole food supplies diet is not just viable for humans. It is in fact likely optimal. Alex has had to leave the festival this afternoon to go and do some work. He's playing a gig, he's playing piano, um, but it's just annoying because festival's in Leicester and then it's an hour and a half drive to the concert and then just does the concert and then it's an hour and a half drive back. So he's had to leave quite early and then he'll get back quite late tonight, but I'm still gonna be awake. Still gonna be party and hopefully, I don't know, because we got up at six and last night we didn't sleep the best because we are in a tent, obviously. Um, but we're gonna see. Maybe I'll have a, a, a late night coffee. Got some Caribbean food. I don't quite know what's in it, but it's really, really good. It's all fresh. We just watched the Hench Herbivore talk about whole foods, um, obviously veganism. Mm. I'm definitely considering swapping to a completely whole food, plant-based diet. I love my chocolate, don't get me wrong, but like as soon as they start making vegan Harry Potter chocolate frogs, the game is over, my friend. We still have a few more things on the agenda today. A few more talks. There is a talk called Live Your Dream, and that's in the mind and body area. And then there's a few celebrity guests this evening before the after party. So lots of fun stuff to look forward to. It's been an amazing 11 years traveling the world. For a long time, I was making a vlog every single day. I think I was one of the first people ever to do the kind of definitely the daily travel vlogs. I, when I went to uni, I studied social and cultural studies with no idea what that meant or what I could do, but I just knew I loved to travel. And I remember thinking, if I got a job where I could travel like a month out of the year, that would be the best thing ever. And then I met Louie, and at the time there was like five people doing travel YouTube. 
and I had I had seen some YouTube videos, but no one traveling doing it. And I was like, whoa, you get to travel the world as your job? Like I thought I could be lucky to do it for a month. So I had never picked up a camera, never edited anything, no experience, but I was like, I have to try this. After doing that for about four or five years, we traveled the world full time together, making YouTube videos to call myself a perfectionist. I don't know how many people out here have used that word until I realized that perfectionist is just another word for insecure. It really is. No one starts with the perfect thing. No one, the first business they start or video they release or anything, it's never the perfect thing. So I, I like to challenge people with that. Steven Spielberg was rejected twice from his Cinematic Arts University. Walt Disney was told that he lacked imagination and had no good ideas. Dr. Zeus had was rejected by 27 book publishers. I'm gonna give you a workout. I can't wait. You won't be. You won't be. Your mom's gonna be nice. <laughs> Is there a backup? Is a backup? Your backup? Are oh, you gonna switch? Okay. All right. Cool. Okay. All right. Cool. You're gonna be tired up here. You're gonna be tired up here. Get away. Ooh, get your sniff on. I'm a dog. How long you had that leg? What if I was so excited to see you, I peed on myself, huh? <laughs> You'd be like, yo, did you just pee on yourself? I thought you were gone forever! It's me. <laughs> Hello, vegans. I'm lovely to be here. I've got a bit of a croaky voice, I'm sorry. I would have had some honey, but... <laughs> I'm not a psychopath. And why do we put people in prison? Couldn't we just give them the love they should have received as children? If we want to rehabilitate people, surely every criminal for five months to two years, depending on the crime, must be breastfed. <laughs> I love a warm beer. So I'm gonna end this vlog here. Oh my goodness. Am I tan? Am I tan? I don't know. I don't know. I just This feels a little bit rude actually. So um, I'm gonna end this video here. Stay tuned for part two, okay? Love you very much. Catch you later, aliens. Stay away from the greys. I've definitely had too much sun and not enough booze. Simon Amstel was really good, but he's a very naughty boy. And that's where I'm going to end it.